time for Birmingham. Haven't played this route for quite a while. Thought I'd chuck it in the mix and see how we go. I, I actually can't remember if I've ever played it, to be honest. So we'll see. So hello to Chicago. Michael can't be here. Hello, NJTE. How are you? Hope you're well. We're going to jump in up and down the valley. And I have spent the last six days preparing a... Uh, new project it's raining there in jte well it's sunny where i am how are our levels looking voice looks okay game looks very quiet uh, that looks better righto then i'm going to release the doors allow the passengers to board the train while you wait to depart make sure the destination is set correctly there are some track workers along the line with tsrs i don't even know what tsr stands for there you go yeah, uh, we probably want a HUD. Not that one. That's crap HUD. Oh, this HUD. There we go. Ah, uh, how do we do the destination display, do you reckon? Hmm. I don't see a little twiddly thing anywhere. There's a master key. I can turn that on. I can put that into forwards. We can push the button. We've got a DRA, that's fine, that can stay there. Some wipers, maybe good. Uh, wipers not working on the old little rail guy over there. We want uh, day headlights. Do you want tail lights? No, we probably don't want tail lights because they'd be on the front. And we want wipers. Wipers, wipers. Wipers will be here somewhere. Cab lights, curb lights, heaters. Screen defroster. Ooh, wiper switch. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Hello, Cayman A. How are you? Temporary speed restriction. Very good. Thank you. Can we turn on the fan? Nah. Don't know how we set the, des the destination display, so we'll just leave that alone. Doesn't really matter anyway. It's all good. What we got up there? I think it wants to leave, do you reckon? Sounds like it wants to leave to me. It's beeping. It's beeping away, but the doors are still open. So we're in Reddick. And we have to go. Let's turn off the DRA. Now the question is, what's beeping? What is beeping? Wow, this is annoying. It doesn't believe the rail driver. What an annoying train. Alright, there we go. It doesn't do rail driver. That's a bit sucky. Oh well, made it move. It's all good. There's a bloke on the forums called London Midland. This must be him in a train. Ah, oh, speeding already. Damn those career points. Ah well, let's just keep going forward here. It's all good. So how is everyone today? We doing well? I noticed with Mr. NJT it's raining and uh, in Illinois it's hot. Here it's bright and sunny. It's still only about, I don't know, 13, 14 degrees Celsius. But it's uh, going to be a nice day today. I lost 6,000 points speeding. You can tell how much I care, can't you? We don't have a Michael on the chat today, because unfortunately he's not with us. Bright and sunny there too. Very good, Chicago. And no, I do not have any keys. I'll let you know if I get any. I have just spent the last six days doing a project. 
So we'll see what comes of that. Well, you can ask, but I'll just ignore you. 1.91 miles to go. Little bit of breaking on. It's kind of interesting to have an electric line out in the countryside like this. You know why it's not working with the rail driver? Because I forgot to start the rail driver software. And I don't think you can start it after the game started. I don't think that works. Got a coming down to 40. That's all right. We're almost there anyway. That's nice to know that DVD is active. Very good. I don't think I did that, but that's okay. And with uh, Cayman A, it's night time. will be raining soon. It was raining here yesterday, which was unfortunate because I had to do some painting outside and today I have to go back there and see how much of it washed off and paint it again I probably should have just done it today but today's sunny weather is a little bit of a surprise it is not what was predicted we have a yellow signal coming up and a noisy thing where's this station Probably this little brick building coming up. Isn't it cute? I'm guessing the little brick building was probably the original station. Or maybe the station master's house. That could be it. This train makes lots of funny noises. There's another one. read the chat in a moment. I just want to get stopped. Sounds like a Formula One race car. We should be loading up our people. Looks like we are. Very good. NJT says the 323 was the last train made for BR before privatisation. Well, it's kind of going back the other way now, isn't it? It's kind of going back to government. To some of it. And Chicago says, next week, please do some air braking tutorials, but no dynamic braking tutorials. Oh, I can't remember what's scheduled for next week. What is the date next week? It won't be the in time for Steam, but that's okay. Away we go. No, we don't go. Why aren't we going? Now we're going. I was impatient. I kind of think next week we're in um, TS Classic again. But I can't remember which route. I'll have to have a look later. And Chicago asks... Talking about Thomas and Friends again. No, no, don't go faster. It's a noisy train. And NJT asks, how do I have a check mark with only 600 subs on my main channel? Well, that is an interesting question. Back in the dark ages, in the beginning of Google, I knew people. And there was a product called Google Plus. 
It's uh, been dead for a little while now. But I was verified on Google+. Plus. It's verified me on all Google properties. And just out of interest, YouTube have tried to take that check mark away from me, along with the other thousand or so of us that got it through the method I did, several times. Which is mean. And Chicago, as usual, is talking about trains that aren't on this route. That's okay. Got a 15 zone coming up. And then we're coming into Barnt Green. I like the way they've modelled the overhead in this. It's quite nice. Yeah, the check mark's not even guaranteed at 100k in JTE. You still have to apply, and they may give it to you. They may not. There are other ways to get it. hard to do with keyboard. You can still get it before 100k, but um, you have to approach it in a different way. So if you're a well-known celebrity or a well-known brand, for example, you can get it before you get to 100k, because they want you on the channel. But if you're your average little person like us, then, uh, yeah, 100k is the start. ready for winter. Our winters are actually quite mild. Our bad weather's in spring and autumn. Fall for you. Our winters get cold, but they're not horrible. I once burnt my ha hand enough that I actually had to get a paramedic on the window at the airport in Arizona. I leaned on the glass while I was watching a plane. And I left some of my skin behind on the window. It was so hot. It was unpleasant. Coming into Barnt Green. And I have to say, this is really annoying with that rail driver. I guess I have to stop here. Oop, not that much, though. I was a bit confused because there's a fence. Hey, we're outside. Hmm, nice hedge. There's our train. And apparently our doors are open because we're loading passengers, but quite clearly they are not. Maybe some of the ones further down are. Oh yeah, there they are. They're open down there. This one didn't open because I'm off the platform. That's cool. Someone spent some time on that scripting. These trains don't have bells. These are English trains. They don't do bells. Only American trains do bells. Joining the other main line now. And going a bit quick, but that's okay. And then we get to fang it up to 90 as soon as the back of our train is past that.
And NGT says that uh, seven trains will be running semi express next week. Why is that? Let's go. Ooh, we're going onto the express track. Very good. Speaking of expresses, I think that's us. Except we're stopping in 2.42 miles, so I guess we're not an express. We're just allowed to go fast. That guy is an axe murderer. You can always tell. There's another way you can go through the trains in Train Sim. Can't do that in TSW2. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Aha! So I have to press the floor pedal. Okay. Can I have some power, please, sir? A little bit. Maybe a little bit. You know what? Let's kill DSD. Because that's what just went off. DSD is. Can't. Gah. Gah. Can you do it with enter? Control enter? No. Yeah, well. Are you going to let me drive, Crane? Obviously not. Well, this is going well. It's going very well. Do I have to turn you off or something? And back on again. That released the brakes. Okay, up we go again. NJT says the trains will be running express for track maintenance, so I guess they're bypassing stations. Let's get some fang happening again. If someone would like to look up the manual for this thing and tell me how to isolate the uh, DSD. Only DSD. I'm quite happy with the other safety systems. A good strain going past there with a class 66, which is an SD40 on the inside. It's a bit of a sneaky SD40. They use concrete tires in California because they haven't got any wood in Chicago. That and they have termites. Really, everybody should use concrete ties or metal ties or the new... We've actually got some new ones that we're trying on our railway, which are made of recycled tires and plastic. We're going to be changing tracks. Very good. Just the right speed. Changing into the platform track. So you think it sound SD42 sound like an overheated car radiator, really? <laughs> Our public transports have been part of a massive build program. We're actually building a new circle line around the city. We're building a new airport line. They're both happening now. There's upgrades to stations all over the place. It's our state government's way of buying its way out of the pandemic and making sure there's good employment.
And we're getting rid of all the level crossings. There we go. Watch all the people get on and off. We've got a passenger view in this one. We do. And we didn't end up next to mixed to axe murder. He's in front of us. We're safe then. Oh, hang on. What did that say? Home of Bourneville. So is that like Cadbury's? Oh, no. It's a, it's a college. Okay. It's not like Cadbury's. Yep, I've got a timeliness penalty. Let's get out of here then. Gotta wait. Now I can power. Off we go. There's a little sign there that says, Are you certain of your stopping pattern? No. Not in the slightest. No clue at all. What else can I turn on down here? What does that one do? Nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Fan works. Can't play with any of those. Got another station coming up. But we're going full fang till we get there. I don't know if we're going to make this stop. Maybe we will. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to stop early, in fact. This thing's got good brakes. It's got really good brakes. Power up again. You're desperate for me to do a more American trains, aren't you? Today we're doing English ones. All the people in the simulation stand out in the rain. It's always kind of funny. Another one over there. I used to live in America. Four years. Time to go. Nearly anyway. TSR. For track maintenance, good o. Come on, release the brakes. I wasn't born in California. I just lived there for a while. I was born in Australia. And we used to have really good wooden ties here, but we have um, pretty much decimated that tree species. It's, it's almost non-existent now. It was used for uh, railroad ties, or railway ties as we call them. Railway sleepers, in fact, as we call them. There's our TSR. Better slow down. Temporary 20.
doesn't seem to penalise me for going over the 20, though. Where's our track workers? Oi, stop powering up. There they are. They're all standing clear like good track workers do. Can't really see them through that window, can you? Can you open it? Oh, you can. Little things. No, I want to power, not break. Oh, it doesn't matter what kind of sleepers you use, you can still drop the train into them. That's down to the fixings that are used. If you're using the Pandrol system, you put the tracks into the chairs that are already on the sleepers and then put the spring clips in. And it can all be done by machines. It's kind of cool. Here we are, King's Norton. And we're running very late. We're four minutes late. Won't be a lot of points for me today. Nice stop. Right in the right place. It's 7.36. When were we supposed to be here? Uh, don't zoom up there. I want to zoom up there. Do not leave your bags unattended. I just like information on the internet to be correct. Hey, be nice. I'm a track worker on the first Sunday of each month. Oops, I need your emergency. Which probably means I have to turn it on and off again. Brakes off, away we go. Green signal, and another train coming the other way. Hello. And another green light. Tunnel. And apparently I'm going too fast again. Clearly I don't care much. into Bourneville, Platform 1. Now this is, I think, is where the Capri Factory is. We should have a look. I seem to vaguely recall a stream about it having a special gate. I think it was Matt. No, not Matt. Nat. And I uh, can't remember the name of the, the digital artist. In fact, there's the gate. I can see it up there. We'll pop up and have a look. You can see how the whole station's purple. For Cadbury chocolate. Let's get the doors open. And let's go for a fly. Oh, wee. They want to come up here. Because they have these really cool gates. There was a, about four streams about making this gate and how hard it was. So I thought I'd show it off, because, you know, 
They put so much effort into it. It's cool. And somewhere around here, there's a Capri factory. And down there, there's a canal with longboats. Something unique to the UK. Damn it. Running balloons again. Is it going to release the brakes? Yes, it is. You would do 35 into a station, would you? It's different for every railway. You wouldn't get timed out of the stream if you talk about a railway disaster. is unusual for a train to stop for people uh, I'm not actually sure when you first started joining the stream Chicago it was a while ago you have a Tim McVeigh themed disaster. I like the canal running down the side of this railway line. That would have been the original transportation along this route. And they still exist today. It's actually something I'd like to do on a holiday is uh, run a steam powered canal boat. Coming into Sally Oak. We're going to call this one Silly Tree from now on. Hey, we're getting quicker. We're not as late in this one. Yeah, let's get them open. I'm not quite 56 Chicago. This year it'll happen, but not quite. Fifty-six is a fortuitous year in my family. My grandfather went bald on his fifty-sixth birthday. Actually on the day, lost most of his hair. It all just fell out. And my father unfortunately died shortly after his fifty-sixth birthday wasn't right on the day, but it was pretty soon after. All right, let's go. I want rail driver control. And up there is Birmingham University that we'll be stopping at very shortly. It's almost not worth speeding up. It's a nice looking building. Green light. Next stop, University. If you're in school, I feel sorry for you. But the real world's worse. Lots worse. You don't have to believe me on that, but you'll find out. So enjoy your lovely life in university while you can. Sad to hear your grandfather passed there, Chicago. And NJT won't be surprised if something happens to me on my 56th birthday. That's nice. Let's go look at this building while we're loading up. Whee. 
Where are they? There they are. That is a school. It's part of a university. That whole complex is the university. Kind of cool. Nice, interesting architecture. We could drive the whole trip from up here. But we won't. Ah, oh, an emergency again. I need my rail driver back. Come on, release the brakes. You're not going to, are you? Oh, yes, you are. Let's go. He died due to liver failure. That's sad. Oh, DVD's active again. Isn't that nice to know? I don't know what keeps making it active and inactive. It's not me. At least I don't think it's me. Lovely rainy day in Birmingham. Hey, my mic's all the way over there. That's... Is that better? Can you hear me now? Probably couldn't hear me very well before. Ooh, that's a bit high, actually. There we go. That's better. I'm not peaking quite so high. Oh, I'm speeding again. Sigh. And a rapper from Atlanta also died today, possible due to liver failure in Maine. Most rappers die of gunshot wounds. Coming on down, downhill, and coming into a platform. And I think I saw a little TSR warning on the side there. NJT's great grandma died of May 7th last year, in her 90s. Sadly bled out. Yes, that is very sad indeed. Hopefully it wasn't too unpleasant for her. Hopefully it was one of those situations where she didn't know. We're getting very morbid today, aren't we? Yes, game. Very good to know DVD's active. Thank you. Love for your help. Coming into five ways. There's a place near me called Five Ways. It used to have five roads. Now it's only got four. I got rid of one. But it's still called Five Ways. Just because they can, I guess. No brakes, not power. Hello, station. Welcome to Five Ways, ladies and gentlemen. Next stop is Five Ways. And I'm supposed to stop up here at the S that says stop. And of course up there... Oops. Up here under this roof, there is of course a sign that says, Way out, man. Who have we got inside our train today? Ooh, creepy. Got lots of people in our train today. Kind of cool to see passengers in TS, actually. You don't always see that many of them. They make the ones in TSW look really good. Let's go. Still in a 30 mile limit. Coming into a tunnel. Chicago says it used to be drug deaths. Now it depends, but I won't say more because YouTube will time me out if I continue. YouTube does not care, mate. When you get timed out in YouTube, it's because the person who owns the stream timed you out. It's not YouTube.
That's not nice at all, NJT. Bing. Today's train was brought to you by the machine that goes ding. Cayman says, oops. Cayman says he doesn't play TS Classic, but this route makes him want to return. It is kind of cool. Coming into Birmingham New Street. So you see it keeps accelerating when it's on off. I don't quite understand that, but it does. It's called money, Chicago. That's all it is. See, it accelerates when, uh, maybe it's just going downhill. But it makes acceleration noises. Do you know the difference between having a dog and a cat as a pet if you die? Let's see if you can guess. When you die alone in the house and you've got a dog for a pet, or you die alone in the house and you've got a cat for a pet, what do you think happens? Next stop, Birmingham New Street. Get your stuff together and get off me train. Well, they may not have money, Chicago. Transport's actually quite a precarious business. Yeah, Cayman A is correct. The dog will lie down next to you and die. And the cat will start with the soft bits like your cheeks and your nose. Radio. Birmingham. In the world of business, it is how it works. They have budgets, and they budget a certain amount of capital expenditure per year, and that includes new things and repairing things, major repairs. Off we go. Next stop will be Aston, apparently. That's nice. Come on, brakes, release. Maybe I should release the brakes and then honk the horn. Because then I can power up. Not that I can power up very much. We're about to come out of the tunnel. How big is this route? It's quite large. Pretty cool. Got a couple of branch lines. Oop, better put the wiper back on. We're outside now. Nope, we're inside again. Yes, so this is a through service NJTE. Thomas is kind of animation, so when Thomas gets wrecked, it doesn't really cost anything to put it back together.
AWS test point coming up. And coming up to 30 miles an hour now. Ding goes the AWS. Coming into Proofhouse Junction on the Up Derby line. That explains the D, doesn't it? We're going onto the Derby line. Fair enough. Uh, Steam Locos often are rebuilt. But if their boiler gets damaged or if their frames get damaged, they tend not to be. They might get parted out to make another loco. Now, which way are we going? We're going up over the top. Very good. Cars are often rebuilt when perhaps they shouldn't be. Right, coming over the crest. Next stop is Aston. Bang. Yes, NJ. Actually, I have known of one loco that got um, rebuilt after its boiler exploded. Ding. Hello and goodbye, Duddeston. This is where I ran the pump car down the abandoned tracks on the left here. Gonna do that game again, are you? God. All right, power up. Not quite sure of the scripting of the safety systems on this train. That seems a bit strange. How do you think they're extinguished, Chicago? You ever tried to put out a coal fire? You have to dig it out with a shovel and put it on the ground. Sure, you mean the fireman. The tender is the thing that follows the locomotive full of coal and water. Ladies and gentlemen, next stop, Aston. Don't leave your belongings or your children behind on the train because I will collect and sell them. Yellow signal and a diverging route. Your friend in West Virginia doesn't know very much. Let's just say that.
The only way to get the fire out is to dig it out with a shovel, unless the locomotive is still upright and has shaker grates. If it has shaker grates, it can shake it out by itself, but it has to be upright for that to work. Now it lights on, isn't it? <laughs> Sky goes grumpy. Come on, release the brakes. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do it. it takes a long time to release the brakes sometimes. I don't think I've looked at an American J-Class. We have a J-Class here, but I doubt they're the same. Ours were made in England. Uh, in the USA, it was abolished. It still happens in other places in the world, disturbingly. It's quite awfully. It's still quite common, sadly. It's a terrible practice. Next stop, Gravelly Hill. Coming under some big roads. One of the UK's big freeway systems. I'll have to look up the J-Class later. I don't think I've ever seen one. Well, maybe I've seen one and not known what it was. We shall see. We shall see about seeing and whether I've seen. Gravelly Hill, next stop. I'm actually back on the footplate of the steam engines myself next month. Back about 18 years ago, I withdrew from the fireman training program and uh, for various reasons, I've decided to go back in. And my first day back is next month where I will be given every shitty job there is because that's what you do to the new guy. Hundred and ten mile an hour is not bad for a steam engine. I think the world record's something like a hundred and twenty-four.
Next stop, Erdington. Always sad when trains get cut up. Yeah, thanks, Kamino. Oh, if nothing else, it'll be fun. I will learn stuff. I've fired stationary boilers and traction engines since then, but not a train, so this will be a interesting experience. Let's see how I go. We're only three minutes late now. Getting better at this. Up it does. Hey, look. That must be me. Don't think I'm that creepy. Well, maybe I'm creepier. Why aren't my doors open? Train. And that one's going to Riddich. Wonder if Riddich is anything like Reddit where all the angry rude people are. Come on, release. Let go. Come on, brakes. Yay. How do you expect it to stay on time with brakes that won't release? Next stop, Chester Road. Fair enough, Chicago. Is American Thomas actually made by American animators or is it made by English animators? It's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Overactive DVD again. Is that lady in the purple dress again? Seem to see her a lot. She must know how to fly because she beats us to every station. Hello, Richie Peach. Welcome to the stream. Well, you never know. They do seem to be gradually bringing all their TSW TS stuff into TSW, so uh, who knows what will happen. And Chicago says Thomas in America was produced by Canadians. There you go. Do, 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 do. Go on, brakes. God, they take their time, don't they? There they go. Thomas franchise is owned by a toy company called Mattel.
Wild green sounds like somewhere you'd grow marijuana. I don't know who Martin T. Sherman is, Chicago. I think your caps lock key might be stuck. Next up, Wild Green. Stop now, train. Honest. Do you reckon I'll get run over if I sit here? Litchfield, Trent Valley via Birmingham New Street. Looks like it sets those things itself. Hey, there's switches behind me. Is this DSD? Do you reckon? No, can't touch that one. Yeah, AWS, local break. Can't start any of these. Doesn't look like any of these can be activated. And off we go. I tend to avoid channels where people rant. It's done that again. Go train, go. Next stop, Sutton Coldfield, said carefully. Hello, cat. And yes, NJT, it does sound like an F1 car. Going through the gears. Except there's only four, not... Ten. Sutton Coldfield, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sutton Coldfield. It's got a massive car park. Must be a Liberal Party electorate. That's an in Australian joke. You know, when you're five minutes late on Amtrak, you're not late at all, because Amtrak seems to consider arriving on the same day as being on time. What little blue stuff on the ground is down there? Let's have a look. Get the doors open. It's just rubbish. There's rubbish all over the tracks. Yep, park and ride. I like that the fan works, it's cool. Wonder how much CPU it's using to do it, but I like it. When was the last time you watched Thomas Cat?
45. Where did you learn about the Australian constitutional crisis, otherwise known as the shafting of Goff? NJTE, it's a bit of an esoteric thing. It was probably more of a coup than a constitutional crisis, to be honest. Our conservative politicians managed to convince the Queen's representative, called the Governor-General, to throw the elected government out of office. So it was kind of a coup. It's never happened since. Oh, I know the History Matters channel. It's actually not a bad one. They cover a very diverse range of topics. I take it you don't like Joe Biden, Chicago. He's better than the orange sock puppet you used to have. He couldn't even spell coffee. Oh, baby. Hey, we're late again. Come on, release the brakes. The Queen is supposed to be neutral. I don't actually think that they can do what they did anymore. Because while we are not fully independent, because we still actually have a queen, we aren't beholden to the queen's wishes anymore. And as Australia becomes more and more multicultural, there will probably come a time when the queen gets the ick. Well, it'll be the king by then. Next stop, Butler's Lane. Is this where all the butlers live? I just think of lots of tall men in black and white suits. Butler's Lane, ladies and gentlemen. Please be careful of your butlering suit so it doesn't get grubby. Stations are always a bit grubby. Never heard that phrase in JTE.
Comes another one. And lost another thousand points. Woohoo! Come on. There we go. Next stop, Blake Street. On this grey and rainy day. I didn't know that. There you go. Learn something every day. Ladies and gentlemen, now coming into Blake Street. Blakey was a bus driver, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we've got a temporary speed limit of 15 coming up as well. That'll make us even more late. Brilliant. Doors open. How's our route going now? Center player. We're all out there. A little while to go yet. Track maintenance works. Yay! I'm curious, Chicago. Why do you think Donald Trump's good? Just curious. Or are you just supporting the party? I think he's in the naughty corner. He's just staring at the bin. Hmm. HUD says 90. Sign says 60. Which one's upside down, do you think? Oh, now the HUD says 50. Just because it can. Let's go. Probably best to keep politics out of the stream. And we won't have people fighting with each other. People are rather passionate about politics. Politics and religion. Two topics guaranteed to start wars. And we have a 10 mile limit coming up soon. I think you know him well in JT. Oh, 
Actually, he might have gone. Why not aim for that NJT? Go for it. Why not? Yeah, it's good to respect other religions. I'm irreligious. Still in our 10 mile area. No, he's not gone. He's here. But uh, it's a good example of why you should keep politics out of a stream, because my numbers dropped when that discussion came up. That's cool, Chicago. Yep, yeah, speed restrictions. Aren't they fun? Especially when you're going downhill. You have to keep braking all the time. Better speed up in a moment, though. Almost there to go back up to 60. Almost. All right, off we go. Power up. Next stop, Shenstone Place. Shenstone next. What did I slow down so early for? Silly. Shenstone place coming up. It is a very busy line, isn't it? it must Push TS to its limits, I suspect. She's watching us. Looks kind of like Nat. How are we going on the route? Shenstone. Not long to go now. What about the tasks? Litchfield. Yep, two more platforms. On train, off we go. Bye train. She's about to kick us, I think. Oh, that was close. Yeah, the headways are pretty good on this railway. Must be a busy one. Lots of passengers.
And the question is, what's next? So who's looking forward to Spirit of Steam? 31st for the people living in the past. And the 1st of, Ju 1st of June for people on my side of the dateline who live in the future. Has anybody already pre-ordered it? Chicago would appear to be enthusiastically waiting for Spirit of Steam. Judging by the me. Do you own any other English roots, Chicago, or has Steam attracted you? The yet to be announced US route. And NJT is saving money. You're saving money to buy it or saving money by not buying it? Chicago is not too into English stuff. They keep breaking down. That's an interesting comment. And Brad says he's not too excited about Steam. He hardly ever plays Steam on TS Classic. Welcome to the stream, Brad. Well, who knows what the future will bring, Chicago? Who knows? I know some of the Pro Series Steam in um, TS Classic really doesn't do Steam any favours. Bitchfield City. It is a nice day in Melbourne this morning. It's nice and sunny, expecting about 20 degrees. And I'll be working outside for quite a lot of it, so looking forward to it. up in Emerald later today, painting part of a house and doing some other maintenance. Litchfield City. It doesn't look like much of a city, does it? Let's go up and have a look. It's more like a town to me. Well, it's got a lot of buses. Maybe it is a city. It's got a big church. It's got a big car park. In we go. All right, let's get the brakes off. Hopefully they'll release. I'm a volunteer on Puffing Billy Bread. Do track patrols. Diesel second person. And I'm starting back on steam firing next month. Quite looking forward to that. And 
funnily enough, when I go up to visit Emerald, I tend not to look at Puffing Billy because I've done about 2,000 trips to Gembrook. It's kind of an, a lot. Uh, NJT asks, how do you operate a 377-387 with safety systems on? The same way you do without them. Just got to press the Q button a lot. And Chicago says, he doesn't care about British trains. They're just trying to get electrics, not diesels. I know how they work. I think you'll find the entire world will go to electric trains. We'll have a brief fad with hydrogen because it's cheaper than putting up overhead wiring. We'll see how that works out for them. We have a yellow signal coming up. And Litchfield Trent. Acknowledge the yellow. Can't message me on Instagram Chicago. I haven't been using it for weeks. So, well, you can. You can message me there all you want, but I won't see it. I haven't even got the app installed. Last stop, ladies and gentlemen, Litchfield, Trent Valley. I hope you've enjoyed your ride on the London Midland today. We've loved having you aboard, even the creepy axe murderer. Acknowledging the red. And NJT feels like he's the only American that likes trains worldwide. Yeah, I tend to like all trains too. It's uh, fun to have the variety. You'll make me renew my Instagram by force. Okay. I'm quite sure how you'll do that. Electric trains stop here, because if you don't, you run out of wires. I wonder if we'll change ends now. You'll have to fix your computer, Chicago. How are you going to make videos without the computer? I know you can do it with a phone, but... It's a little more challenging. I take it that's why you've been posting uh, phone recordings of your console lately. Good run, despite the TSRs. It's trying to change cabs and get ready for the return. Well, how about that? We just go back again. Fair enough. What have we got in Birmingham Cross City now? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on, I want to go to Birmingham. What time is it? 10 o'clock. We've got time. Oh, let's do one in the snow. Cool, we've got time for this. It's an interesting little train, that orange one. Good evening, driver. Please release the passenger doors and get ready to depart as soon as possible. This train is currently running 15 minutes late and holding the following services. Please try your best to keep going despite the weather out there. Be careful. Be safe. Oh, well. Let's turn on some lights. Master key. Forward. Whack the button. Whack the floor thing. Have we got a red in front of us? No, we don't. So we can turn off the DRA. We've got headlights on. Yeah. I want to see the front. No, we don't have headlights on. Where are the headlights? Air conditioning. Oh, they're over here, aren't they? Night headlights. Come on. That way. No, wrong way. That way. There we go. Excellent. Might need a wiper as well, eh? No, oh, that just went once. Get the brakes off. And let's go out into the snow. K 
can I power up to this notch in the snow or will it just slip? Already speeding. Good start to the run. And Chicago does electrics because of Boston Sprinter. Well, you've got both on that route. Boston's still my most driven route of uh, all the simulator games that I own. Can you tell I don't really care about speeding at this point? Off we go. Next stop, five ways. Shortly we'll come out of the dark tunnels into the dark night. Wow, this is really hard to see anything. I wonder if the day headlight gives you a more light. It shouldn't. You know what? I think it does. Oh no, maybe not. Next stop, five ways. Wow, this is dark. I think I like its level of hectic, Brad. And the um, I like the safety systems too. ATC and Axis. And while they have their issues in the implementation, it's um, mostly right. And it mostly doesn't die. Welcome to Five Ways. I like little spiky things on the end of English platforms to stop people walking off onto the track. Do I detect that we arrived early? Wow. Yeah, the route's just fun because it's busy and fast-paced and other trains get in your way and they join the, join the main route and leave the main route. Yeah, it's good. I kind of prefer passenger to long-haul freight. I like short-haul freight and switching freight. It can be annoying to have to go slow. Come on, brakes. Release. World's slowest brakes. I don't know if you saw my thing on um, Dovetail's Train Simulator channel, but the Boston Sprinter, the ACS-64, its ATC and Axis works on Horseshoe Curve, which is kind of cool. When you're running in off the rails. I don't know what keeps triggering that message. I don't think I'm doing it. It would be really cool to get some Australian routes in the game. Sunbury Line, Pakenham Line, Frankston Line, they all have freight 
and interurban services and electric services all mixed in together. So those would all be interesting. Werribee line, same reasons. Good mixture of diesel and passenger services and a fair bit of freight for the fun. Especially in summer, there's more freight. Next stop, University in the Dark. I really need blackout curtains on my streaming room so that when it's a dark route and it's really bright outside like it is today, it makes it really hard to see. There are some people working on the Newcastle line from New South Wales for TS Classic. That's a team of three people. And there's someone else working on the centre of Sydney. And there was a guy working on one of the suburban lines for Melbourne but I haven't seen anything from him for a long time so he, he may have given up in trains there's quite a bit of Australian stuff as in T-R-A-I-N-Z which isn't that surprising given N3V's an Australian company based out of Brisbane So never know, we'll see what happens. We are a relatively small market though, and if the um, trains aren't attractive to others for some reason, then I imagine gaming companies would be a little bit reluctant to make them. Knowing the only buyers might be us, because they have to recoup their costs. I wonder if that's some kind of door closing thing while they um while it waits so long to close or release the brakes. Yeah, I like the Hillsville line. I haven't actually played the Mornington one. There's the new one too, the um Bensdale line. That's actually pretty cool. That came out this year. That actually made me sign up for Trains Plus again, which I haven't had for a long time. Because it was cheaper to sign up for a year of Trains Plus than it was to buy the new pack. Next stop, Sally Oak. This one's nicely lit. The modelers have done a really cool job here. Doors opening. I'll just have a look for the Mornington line. I live near it. Isn't it odd that I volunteer at Pupping Billy and not the Mornington line? Yeah, it's a difficult letter to come to grips with. Dri guard to driver. Controller's just phoned to let me know we need to run non-stop to Longbridge and then on to Bart Green. We might have to cancel the train. Return to Birmingham. Alam, alam, alam. 
They will call me back with an update in a few minutes. I've already informed the passengers. You are clear to proceed. Isn't that nice? No, the doors are already shut, so it's not that. Not in service. Ooh. I usually only play with the editor when I'm building scenarios for TS. Because I add in extra stopping points. And the only time I've had a really serious fiddle with it, I made some scenic sightings active so I could use them in a scenario. That was a bit of a learning curve too, because it turned out the track there wasn't actually real. It was pretend track. I eventually got there, but not to not totally successfully. I've never released that to the workshop because it's uh, sometimes plays fine and sometimes it crashes. That would look like a yellow signal to me. Flashing away there. Sorry, people. Coming through. Goodbye, Cabri Town. Welcome back, Chicago. Another yellow flasher coming up. Which would suggest we're not far off of red. I go, hey, you can run non-stop. And you think, cool, some speed in the dark. But no, adverse signals. Oh, that's this one, isn't it? Going to make me look down there. Where is it? Where's that bloody button? I don't think I pressed that quick enough. No, no, I did not. Not a fan of this system. Not a fan of it. I wish I knew how to turn it off. But I silly didn't have a look at the manual. Kings Norton, not stopping. And we're diverging routes too. It would be cool to have the skills to use the editor to make some interesting content because a lot of the stations from um, England and some of the ones from America look close enough to Australian stations that you could just reuse those assets green signal off we go I started making Puffing Billy in trains a long time ago, maybe about 2005 or six or so. I got the Dem data and I laid out the entire landscape and spent about a week and a half flattening out the area where the track goes. And I started laying track and got bored with it and stopped and never, never went back to it. I gave away the um, route as it was to another guy, but I don't think he ever did anything with it either.
Next stop, ladies and gentlemen, Long Bridge. Hope that's not my red signal or I'm stuffed. Says he's speeding merrily. Now approaching Long Bridge. But it's not this station. Yeah, I tend to agree, Brad. I've made quite a lot of scenarios. I've got a, probably about 10 or so up on Workshop. I do find it fun. It's just interesting. Trying to bend it to your will and make it do things it doesn't want to do. Do you publish your scenarios, Brad? On Workshop? Or somewhere else? Cool. I'll have to have a look. Bredometer. Let's see if I've got the routes for them. Because I like playing community content on stream, it's good. And apparently electric trains, no access to the down goods. No wires. Yeah, I tend to keep most of my scenarios to myself, mainly because um, I test them to the point where I'm happy to play them, but you've got to do a lot more testing before you put it on Workshop. Control informs me the line to Redditch is blocked by snowdrifts. When we get to Bart Green, we'll have to cancel the train and return back to Birmingham on another train's path. Upon arrival, please release the passenger jaws, change cabs, and wait until they give you the right away. I want to make sure all the Redditch passengers disembark at Bart Green. Fair enough. And I just heard a guards buzzer, which I haven't heard at any other time during this run. And we are on a yellow, but I think that's because we're diverging. Over we go. Time for some wrong route running. Yay! And DVD's turned itself on again. Woohoo! I think if we um, got the Frankston line, I'd like to have it in the 70s. Because 
because then you'd have the oil trains coming up from the tank farm at Crib Point. You'd have the Navy train. You'd have the Stony Point being a diesel hold service that came out from the city. You'd have mixed freights going to all those little yards all along the line. Actually, even the 60s would be good. Because you'd ac actually have more yards active in the 60s. Next stop, Bant Green. And we have a yellow. But AWS hasn't yelled at me yet. There it goes. And of course, no city loop in the 60s. So you'd have that um, all the fun of Flinders Street and Jollymont Yards. Yeah, and the tram crossings too. Yeah, I think there's tram crossings. That'd be fun. slowed down a little bit early but I can't see the points in the dark so I don't know where the diverge actually is. It'll be after the signal but yeah it's Glen Huntley I think it would be fun you'd have Rhett Rattlers and Blue Trains, the Blue Harrises otherwise known as the Asbestos Specials And you'd have both kinds of red rattlers too, the slidey door ones and the slam door ones. I do kind of miss in summer that the idea of air conditioning on the train was holding the door open. No one cared. No one fell out. Because we were all clever back then. Imagine today if you had held the door open, people would be horrified. They'd be writing about it in news.com.au. Horrific tale of passengers' hair tussled by wind. In fact, uh, the Mornington line would have still been connected at Baxter. So you could even be running goods out there. You could run the odd steam special out there. Now we're going to be changing ends, I suspect. I probably shouldn't preempt it. I should just do what the scenario tells me to do. Or it'll blow up. scenarios being like that. Could do something so. Get that off. Put tail bites on since we're changing directions. Off. Guard to driver now running is 2P81 with the same stopping pattern as before. I.e. Very little. Excellent. Now I assume that means I actually have to change ends.
I kind of assume. Didn't actually tell me to though, which worries me just a little bit. Come on, you know you want to go it. There we go. Marker lights are off. Good. Wipers on. Come on, do it. And a bit of turn on the fan. There it goes. All right. Should be good. Now, that's probably my red signal, isn't it? Better stop then. Denied. Guess we wait then. Maybe I wasn't meant to change ends. Maybe I was meant to go the other way. Maybe it already changed ends for me. I'm confused. Where are we? Down here. So where does that go? That just goes down there. So no, we're going the right way. We just have to wait. Hello, beepy thing. Are there any other trains? Oh, yeah, there's one there. 2074. Or is it? No, it's, yeah, it is two, 2074. Literally. Let's go have a look. See if he's got a red too, because if he's got a red as well, then we've just stumped each other. Here's the other train. What does it have? It's got a red as well. Hmm. Are we stumped? Is there another train down here, maybe? That we're both waiting for. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. So there's the Long Ridge. And we're there. So we're definitely facing the right way, but this guy's in our way. Except that he's not. We've got the path to go ahead. Hmm. Stop that. So do I just try it or what? <laughs> huh. I can go backwards. Let's give it a crack. Oh, power. Oh, you know what? I'm a dummy. I had the dubby switch on. So this is either going to be over really quickly or it'll be fine. Yay. All the good, as they say. So we're the driver of the other train, and thanks to the sun that just suddenly got even brighter, 
Where the train's going. What the? He's on my track. Now he's gone. Whew. He's gone the other way. Going back onto the express track. But not at express speeds. See you later, other train. It's all yours, mate. Looks like he's leaving too. Next stop, Longbridge. Actually, you could have parcel trains too, right? They still ran in the 70s. Vaguely surprised I found that in the dark, and we have yellow signals. Probably even have semaphore signaling on some of the line in the 70s. That would be really fun. The more I think about this, the more I like the idea. Now, I don't think that red's mine, but I'm just slowing down. I think we have the yellow with a diverge on it. Looks like. Acknowledging the yellow on the AWS. The funny little sunflower. The Puzzles fans wouldn't be too bad. Because they were basically... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Ah, too late. They were basically um, the motor cars of two takes, essentially. Joined together. It's too slow to find the pedal. So you'd have to build the Tates anyway. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have actually seen Tates for TS. I have to see if I can find them. Never seen a Harris. I think everybody's content to leave the Harrises in Oakley Tip. Just pretend they never happened. Hmm. 
Longbridge. Yeah, you're right. You would have the Atachis in the mid seventies. The Atachis would be relatively close to the ones that ran in New York, just longer. So you could probably nick someone else's modeling and extend it. But I don't pretend to even know how to do 3D modeling. Come on, Brakes. Let us go. Sounds like there's something else coming, doesn't it? But there's not. You gonna release brakes or what? There is something else coming. Look at that. It's a diesel one. Oh, now they're gonna release. Okay. It's a nice bit of a delay there. You'd also have to build the G and X class that, uh, and the T's that hold the freight trains. And Stony Point probably was a B class then. If yeah, probably a B. Mornington would have been a B or a T. bit of work to do but we can dream green signal next stop Sally Oak in four very dark miles Being naughty again. Got a forty coming up at Kings Norton. For a quiet cruise through Kings Norton. Should we wake them up? Ah, it's only seven o'clock at night. They shouldn't be asleep. Kings Norton's not stopping. Sorry, not sorry. Bye. See you later. That pedal is so annoying. Coming into a 60 area.
on our way into Sally Oak. I think Chicago's battery's gone flat. Stand behind the imaginary yellow line, sir. I'm glad I've got the HUD because I'm driving with it because I can't see much outside the train at all. And the sun is being super bright right now. actually look forward to being outside, which it will be shortly. Silly Oak. Open up doors. So, Eon in that end too. Ha! It thinks I didn't change ends. That's interesting. That's why it wanted me to use backwards on the requesting the signaler. That's interesting. Now, release the Kraken. Or the brakes. Whichever you want. There we go. Next stop, University. Yay, sun's gone behind a cloud. I can see again. Hopefully it'll stay there. Hello, lucky people at a station I'm actually stopping at. like in his beats. I'd go pretty close to almost done Chicago. Let's have a look at the task list. Not much to go, I don't think. Two more stops and that'll be it. Where are we going to put you for a rail fan departure? Probably just inside the fence. There we go. 
It still says not in service too, and it's got no driver. But that's okay. We we go. Next stop, five ways. Looks like we'll have another diverge coming into five ways. Just judging by the fact that it's 30. Green repeater. The brakes applying and releasing on this train sound like a um, New York R32. Weird that I know that. Chicago is planning on going to a Railroad Days event next week. That'd be cool. I'll be going to a Lego shop. There you go. Got a new one in Melbourne. It's got a big W-class tram. Next stop, five ways. If you're leaving us here, I hope you've got a torch. Yeah, I'm going to overshoot a little on this one. I had a horrible moment when I thought I still had brake one and I looked down and it was off. And it's like, oh well. The brakes go on harder when you open the doors, so I can probably release them, but this game cracks the sads if you move with the doors open, so I won't. Just in case. Release the brakes. And away we go. Next stop, Birmingham New Street. And that, I think, is the end of the service. Indeed. So it will also be the end of the stream, unfortunately, because I have to go do some stuff. So in a couple of weeks' time, next week we're back in TS, I'm pretty sure. In a couple of weeks' time... Oh, it's going to stop me anyway, isn't it? Reset.
what is on next week? Let's have a quick look. don't actually go live. Ah, that's right. Next week we're in America. We're going to be running several different parts of the NEC on different routes. Diesel and electric. So that will be fun. And the week after that, if I check my calendar, it'll probably be Spirit of Steam. Now, here's a question for you guys. If I was to stream Spirit of Steam for an entire day to do an entire shift, would you watch? I don't know why I put the brakes on then, but I did. I'm vaguely contemplating taking the day off work and running right through. So I could start at my usual 8.30 time, which would uh, capture the people who were in the evening on the other side of the world and then during the day probably wouldn't get a lot of Aussies because it's a work day it's June the 1st I'm hoping to be allowed to stream it the day before release as usually happens with dovetail stuff but that is not confirmed at this time so you'll see the stream schedule go up as soon as I've, I'm allowed to. You. Stop beeping at me. Since we're under a roof, we can do without the wiper. And that would be it. The door's open. And that's probably the end of the run, but I won't preempt the scenario. We can turn off the fan. There we go. Mr. McArdle Roseburg, Oregon fan is now off. So Chicago reckons a full day of steam sounds like a good idea. You'd be asleep for at least half of it. And next week with the NEC, so there'll be, um, there's been quite a lot of NEC routes in TS. I have some of them and we'll be playing some of them. So there we go. Fun day. I uh, can't remember exactly which ones I had scheduled, but there'll be a few. So it'll be a fun one and we will enjoy ourselves. So thanks heaps for watching and I hope to see you next week. And I also hope to see you for some special ones for Spirit of Steam on TSW2, which I'm quite looking forward to. Anyway, have fun, folks, and we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.